so uh, let's finish up this strapper now uh, so till now we are able to fetch the information and uh, now we'll be showing our information here so I have made here a loop so that we can iterate over through our uh, list here and then uh, I kept a, a variable so that I can get that uh, data out of it now uh, how this manager actually works so let's suppose you have a, a schoolboy and uh, we don't know from which standard does it belongs to whether uh, uh, first grade or second grade which standard right so this is an ID right student ID so using that ID we can get to know okay this student this particular boy belongs to that particular standard or a grade of his school so the same way this manager actually works with the data so it assigns a value that is called the index number so here if you see it puts the index number for this name as and we all know that index number always starts with zero so this zero is for name one is for price and let's say if I want the rating as well it, it will assign that index number as three so the same way we'll fetch out the data it actually assigned all those data uh, in an index number right so what we'll do is uh, we'll take out all those uh, data using their index numbers now to fetch the data and to collect the data we need two lists two empty lists so let's say we need two separate lists or containers so that we can put our data separately right one is the product and I created the second one as the prices right so I'll use these two vessels uh, you can say it's kind of a vessel you can say so products dot append so it, it will it will fill up that uh, I'm sorry uh, yeah queue count and then uh, let's say with zero index it will put inside that vessel that product pro product test vessel and then in prices I use this append and Q count and then index number with one it should append here right so it's already separated out now I want to display the data so for displaying what I'll be using uh, a library called panda so panda is pandas is very powerful library I'm, uh, I'll tell you about how what exactly is pandas so pandas is actually used to uh, extract the data whether we want to extract it from the text file or uh, JSON file or CSV file it is a very strong library and supports many uh, files to extract the data many formats of files and uh, the other thing is that it is very powerful in displaying the data how actually we want the data to get displayed so actually it creates a data frame so that we can actually show the data uh, however we want and what data we want to show show right so here I'm gonna be giving a variable name that is called the DF and then so use that pandas I have uh, written here in both import pandas as PD right and then DF equals to PD dot data frame and then inside the data frame I'll be using this uh, <coughs> product right Pro ducts product name and then I'll because this is kind of a heading right I under this heading I want all the product names to be listed out so what it will do it will list products here and then in prices it's a heading and then in prices it should show me the prices below this tag well, sorry below this uh, header right so the last thing is that what I will do is uh, print TF and then I want to see whether it is working or not so let's say if I if I type here if I just uh, run here and let's see whether it works so if you see here uh, I'm able to get the information of all the product names these are the product names Acer, Aspire, Five Slim if you go to the uh, website and uh, let's say if you go to the website here and if you see here these are the product names and all these products are listed down right so I'm able to get the product names as well as and the prices so if you see here the zero dollar means uh, there's no price here it means it will show the prices here like this 
So this is how we actually show the data and there are various things that we can we can even scrap the images out of the website of our page and also we can uh, we can store it in a document file so that we can share the data to our customer or clients and we can do a lot of things using this uh, web scrapper and also I have shown here how we can scrap just one page right so the same way I, I know there are a lot of questions in your mind that if you want to scrap the multiple pages yeah that also we can show we can uh, we can use this web scrapper to extract the uh, multiple pages data so that we, 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 we actually need to use uh, threading called a concept threading but to make this uh, demo more easier not so complex for the bigness as well so I just kept it just for one page and uh, I hope you like this uh, demo on web scrapper and in my next session and upcoming sessions I will be teaching you more advanced and updated topics also on artificial intelligence in a very sharp and easiest way of uh, how we actually implement it so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so that uh, you could get updated with my coming videos and yeah thank you for watching this video thank you guys hope you like it and share me the comments if you just share tell me of uh, how the videos are so that i can take care of in my upcoming videos and definitely i'll try my best to make it more easier so thank you guys and bye